David and Kathy Chris Jansen Gorell own and run Wild Goose Farm in Union County. They use the regenerated forest and land there to teach sustainable living practices. Part of the farm sustained heavy damage during Monday's storm. But the interesting thing about this property, there's different sections along the 20 acres that you'll see where um, there's a more of a, you know, like grove areas, like the part that got damaged is that pine grove area. They p planted a lot of scotch pine and that's, that's what got damaged. She said 40 plus trees. And we thought, that's a lot of trees. And then Dave came out by himself because I couldn't come out. And then I came out later by myself and we both had the same reaction. It, 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 it's as if in five short minutes, it completely devastated the pine grove. And Kathy's expertise is in running small enterprises. And so she started a school in Western Mass for immigrants. Um, she ran a parents group for a number of years in Lewisburg. And so this was a step to say, oh, let's take that expertise and create a learning environment for people to come and get inspired about, you know, the importance of nature. Because a lot of kids these days are not getting that kind of exposure to nature. We draw on the experience and expertise in the group, the members. We have botanists, we have arborists. Um, two of them participated in coming up with a forest plan. This is like, okay, this is our next lesson, our next project. Um, so you could, you could bring in big machinery and get rid of this in a day, um, but that compacts the soil and that um, hurts the health of the soil. And then you get um, more invasives, which is what we're trying to get rid of, right? And so it's counterproductive to do it the way that we would normally do it. Um, and so our task right now is to figure out, okay, well, how can we use this as a demonstration to help people figure out how do we interact with the woods in a way that's, that's um, um, more sustainable. We need a new plan. Yeah. Because now, that with all the sunlight hitting the floor, we need to respond so that the invasives don't take over. We'll figure out a way to make this uh, something we can learn from and, you know, become more... Um, resilient as a result. That's, that's my hope. But, you know, to tell you the truth, I'm heartbroken. <laughs>